Introduction What's in this for me? You will learn why you and your doctor sometimes are speaking different languages and how to put together parts of medical words. You'll also find quizzes to see what you've learned and links to lists of word parts and abbreviations. What did the doctor say? Did you ever feel as if you and your doctor weren't speaking the same language? What did the doctor say? Sometimes even words that you think you understand can have a different meaning to your doctor. For example, heart attack. Your uncle's heart stopped beating. Luckily, the emergency responders used CPR and revived him. What? When you visit him, you say how glad you are that he survived his heart attack. The doctor says he didn't have a heart attack. He had a cardiac arrest, but no muscle damage. What does he mean? What's going on? To you, a heart attack means the heart doesn't beat. To the doctor, a heart attack means there is damage to the heart muscle. Another example, fever. You take your temperature and it's 99.5 degrees. You call your doctor and say you have a fever of 99.5 degrees. She says, that's not a fever. What does she mean? What's going on? To you, a fever is anything above 98.6 degrees. To the doctor, a fever is a temperature over 100.4 degrees. You and your doctor sometimes are speaking a different language, using the same words. So, what can you do? If what you're hearing doesn't make sense, ask questions. You can also use the Medline Plus Dictionary or Encyclopedia to find out more about meanings of medical words. Tongue-twisting words ahead. Now, let's move on to the big words. Colonoscopic polypectomy, esophagogastrodudinoscopy. First, let's see what you know. What did the doctor just say? Hyperglycemia or hypoglycemia? They sound alike, but one is high blood sugar and one is low blood sugar. What did the doctor just say? Osteoarthritis or osteoporosis? They sound alike, but one is a painful problem with your joints and the other is a disease that makes your bones weak. What did the doctor just say? Did she say you needed a colonoscopic polypectomy? What on earth do those two words mean? You need a what? Transesophageal echocardiogram. What is that? Medical words can be long and confusing. Let's figure out what these words mean. Break it up. Break it up. Some medical words are made of multiple parts. They might make more sense if you break the word into different parts. Breaking up isn't hard to do. Long medical words can have a beginning or prefix. If there's a beginning, it can be about size, shape, color, direction, amount. Middle or root. The middle is often a part of the body. Ending or suffix. If there's an ending, it can be about the same thing as the beginning, like size, or it can be about a test or it can describe a problem. Breaking up long words. Trans and esophage and eel has a beginning or prefix of trans, middle or root of esophage, ending or suffix of eel. Echo and cardio and gram has a beginning or prefix of echo, middle or root of cardio, ending or suffix of gram. 
Things to remember. Not all medical words have a beginning or ending. Sometimes word pieces can appear in different places, like cardiologist and myocardial. We'll get to what those mean in a minute. Word roots. Word roots. Let's begin with body parts. The root of a medical word is usually a body part. Bone equals osti. Muscle equals myo. Nerves equal ner. Skin equals derm. Word roots. The root of echocardiogram is cardio. It means heart. Here are some roots for your heart and blood vessels. Your heart is cardio. Your veins and arteries are vas or vasc. The system of heart and blood vessels is sometimes called the cardiovascular system. Here are some roots for your heart and blood vessels. Blood is heme or hemo or sang. Blood vessels are angi or angio. Veins are vein or veno or phlebe or phlebo. Aorta is aort. Heart is cardi or cardio. Arteries are arteri or arterio. Here are some roots for parts of your head. Brain is enceph. Nose is rhino. Eardrum is tympan or meringo. Tooth is odont or dento. Skull is crany. Eye is ophthalm or oculo. Ear is auto. Tongue is lingua. Here are some roots for your digestive organs. Liver is hepat or hepato. Gallbladder is colcyst. Esophagus is esoph or esapha. Large intestine is colo. Stomach is gast or gastro. Small intestine is ilio. Your digestive organs are in your abdomen. The root is abdomen or abdomino. Quick review. Brain is enceph. Eye is ocule or oculo. Nose is rhino. Liver is hepat or hepato. Head is ceph. Heart is cardi or cardio. Stomach is gast or gastro. Large intestine is colo. Let's root words for the rest of your body. Chest is thoras or thoraso. Lung is pneumo or pleura. Breast is mam or mamo. Blood clot is thromb or thrombo. Kidney is nef. Root words for the rest of your body. Bones and muscles. Muscles is myo. Shoulder is scapula. Arm is brachy or brachio. Wrist is carp or carpo. Rib is cost or costo. Back is dorsa. Bones are osti or osteo. Foot is pod or podo or ped or pedo. Memory shortcuts. Sometimes a memory shortcut will help you remember words like gastro, stomach or intestines. Think of one of the things your digestive system produces. Gas. And a picture is worth a thousand words. 
Rhino is nose. Think rhinoceros. Beginnings and endings. More root. Is it a beginning or an ending? We'll use a dash after the word part to show it's a beginning. Example, hyper, dash. We'll use a dash before the word part to show it's an ending. Example, dash, itis. Beginnings and endings about size. Macro equals large. Micro equals small. Megalo or megaly equals large. More beginnings and endings. Hyper equals above normal. Hypo equals below normal. More beginnings and endings. Tacky equals fast. Brady equals slow. Beginnings and endings about where. Perry equals around. Trans equals across. Endo equals within or inside. Enter equals between. Here are some beginnings about tests and procedures. Echo equals using ultrasonic waves. Electro equals using electricity. Here are some endings about tests and procedures. Ectomy equals removal of. Gram equals a picture. Graph or graphy equals the process of making a picture. Atomy equals making a cut in. Scopy equals use of instrument for viewing. Stomy equals create an opening. Beginnings and endings about color. Chloro equals green. Luke equals white. Erith equals red. Cyan equals blue. Beginnings and endings about problems. Dis equals not working correctly. Mal equals bad. Emia equals blood condition. Itis equals inflammation. Osis equals condition or disease. Pathy equals disease. Who are you going to see? Specialties and specialists. Ology is the study of a part of the body. So, ologist is a person working with a specific part of the body or a specific disease. Iatry is medical treatment. So, iatrist is a person providing specific treatment. When you put things together, derma equals skin and itis equals inflammation. Dermatitis is inflammation of the skin. Colo is colon and ostomy is opening of. Colostomy is creating an opening in the colon. Putting things together. Now let's see how those beginnings, roots, and endings get combined. Beginning. Now that you know that cardi or cardio equals heart, look at what else you know. Carditis equals inflammation of the heart. Cardiology equals study of the heart. Cardiomyopathy equals disease of the heart muscle. Echocardiography equals heart test using ultrasonic waves. Root equals colo. Now that you know that colo equals colon, look at what else you know. Colitis equals inflammation of the colon. Colectomy equals removal of the colon. Colonoscopy 
equals view of the colon. More of what you know. If you know that itis equals inflammation, look at what else you know. Hepatitis equals inflammation of the liver. Pneumonitis equals inflammation of the lungs. Gastritis equals inflammation of the stomach. Encephalitis equals inflammation of the brain. Otitis equals inflammation of the ear. And even more. Now that you know that ectomy equals removal, look at what else you know. Gastrectomy equals removal of the stomach. Colectomy equals removal of the colon. Nephrectomy equals removal of the kidney. Tonsillectomy equals removal of the tonsils. Appendectomy equals removal of the appendix. Quiz time. Quiz. Quiz time. Now, if you go to your doctor and say, it hurts to swallow. My nose is running and I can't stop coughing. Your doctor says, open wide and say, ah. After looking, your doctor says, you have pharyngitis. You now know what that is. Inflammation, itis, of your throat, pharynx. Of course, there are exceptions. You may not always be able to figure out what the words mean, but with the knowledge you've gained, you can make a start. Hypertension. What is it? Sometimes it's hard to figure out what a word means, even if you've broken it apart and you know some of the pieces. You know that hyper means high. But what does hypertension mean? that you are really stressed out? Hypertension equals high blood pressure. Hyper equals high. Tension equals stretch. Hypertension comes from pressure made by your blood against your arteries. In this case, it's easier to look it up. Back to transesophageal echocardiogram. We already figured out echocardiogram. Echo equals using ultrasonic waves. Cardio equals heart. Gram equals recording. Echocardiogram equals recording of a heart test using ultrasonic waves. Back to transesophageal echocardiogram. Trans equals across. Esophag equals esophagus. Eel equals pertaining to. The test goes across the esophagus. During a transesophageal echocardiogram, you swallow a tube that does a heart test using ultrasonic waves. Abbreviations. Some final tips about alphabet soup. You know, those strings of letters that you see on requests for lab work or other tests? They aren't words. The letters are shorthand for longer words. They may be abbreviations or acronyms, words made of letters from several words. Here are some examples. CBC equals complete blood count. A lab test that measures the number of different types of blood cells. UTI equals urinary tract infection, an infection of the kidney or bladder. Who invents these and why? Health professionals invent these so they don't have to deal with those long words. Sometimes the shortcut is the first letters of a group of words. Sometimes the shortcut is selected letters from one long word. Who invents these and how? MRI equals magnetic resonance imaging, a type of diagnostic test using images. C 
MV equals cytomegalovirus, a virus that causes a variety of infections. It's all Greek to me, or Latin. Sometimes the shortcut comes from roots in Greek or Latin. Your doctor gives you a prescription. It says B I D. You think, what's that? It's all Greek to me, or Latin. When you get the prescription, the bottle says twice a day. Where's B I D? B I D comes from the Latin bis in die, which means twice daily dosage. Sometimes medical words really are a foreign language. Getting creative with shortcuts. To test the function of your thyroid gland, your doctor may order two tests. She's written T3 and T4. What's that about? T3 stands for triiodothyronine. Tri is Greek for three. T4 stands for tetraiodothyronine or thyroxine. Tetra is Greek for four. Which would you rather write? Getting creative with shortcuts. Part two. Your doctor might order an electrocardiogram, a test that measures electrical waves from your heart. He might write E K G on the prescription pad. Why is electrocardiogram abbreviated E K G? Getting creative with shortcuts, part three. It's to make sure that you get a heart test instead of a brain test called an electroencephalogram, which is written as E E G. That could look like E C G if the doctor wrote it in a hurry.